is officially fall, and that Yay. means it's apple picking season. <laughs> There's some people excited around here. I'm just saying. Bit. I don't know about you, but sometimes I find myself walking away with more apples than I know what to do with. And Maria's here with a fun DIY to help you brighten up your home with those extra apples, Maria, because I know. That's I something you do. I have a problem. Well. <laughs> I'm Maria, and I have a, an addiction <laughs> to fall because anything fall I love. I was in Michigan, and I have a picture for you of the apple orchard. I actually would go to growing up. This place is called Baines. It's, it's in my town of Saginaw, Michigan, and I was so excited to go back. But I this thought those is, were all your apples, and I, I was like, be, you do have a problem. I do have a problem. Well, I do. I love apples. I love to eat them. I love to decorate with them. So I, I wanted to come up with an, an idea to utilize those apples in a really beautiful way and Cameron this is something you can do right now because it's the beginning of apple season yep. and sort of all throughout the season I feel like this would be great for Thanksgiving any decor for around your house this could be a centerpiece or it could be like you can see over here I decorated a beautiful side table I love apples I love candles I'm very excited about this <laughs> let's get going so what do we got to do we're gonna do a couple versions right we, yeah we have our, a couple versions we have our little votive and then we have the ones with the tall tapered cam great. candles in there so okay uh, we have our apples here. And what you're looking for with the apples, you don't want it to be ones that are, you know, kind of like the wobbly ones that aren't gonna stand on their own. Yep. Make sure you eat those ones. These ones, you can see, they just stand on their own like that. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to secure them as well, but that's what you wanna initially go with. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on just a paper towel. And what I do is I actually take my take the stem out, like yes. I just did right there. Yep. And depending on what size of candle you want, uh, you can use a bigger, uh, this is actually just a smaller candle that I feel like is perfect. You get these at the craft supply store. Gotcha. Take uh, just a permanent marker. You could use really any kind of marker, but as long as you can see it. And it's gonna make a circle. Oh, here, I'll give that to you. Now, the right top here. of my apple's on a little bit of an angle here. That's okay. I'm gonna it's go, the top I'm gonna is go fine, with yeah. the angle. I'm not gonna fight the angle, right? Don't fight the angle. No, it's perfect. <laughs> okay, so you can see, I'm just gonna scoop out where this hole is. Okay. And all you do is, this is a melon baller. I do think, I mean, it's, it's really inexpensive. And I will say, Cam, these, if you don't have one, for this project, I would say this one's worth getting, and you would be so surprised how often you will actually use a melon baller. Uh, it helps in like the summer when you actually have watermelon and stuff like that. So it's a good little investment. Let me ask you something. Once you make this, and once you do everything that you're gonna do to make it kind of last, how long would something like this last? You know, I would say if you take care of it, uh, and in a, in a way that I'm gonna show you, and keep it in the fridge instead of keeping it out, mm. uh, then, <laughs> then I would say probably, I would say a good week. So you could do this ahead of time, but the, the fresher the better, I would say, when it comes to that. I just you can see. want you to know that I'm really like I'm nailing this. I I'm, think you're doing a great I, job. I don't, <gasps> yeah. I don't know what to tell you, but I was made. I was made for this. Okay, you so were. now here's the thing. We're not going to put them in just yet because we don't want the apples to go brown and start getting all weird. Exactly. No weird apples here. So you said about browning and how long they would yeah. last for. So we grab some lemon. I take the lemon and I do okay. this. You just kind of yep. squeeze it. And in you could squeeze a little bit in. And okay. after that, you put you pop the guy in there, and you're all good to go Amazing. for that one. Oh, Amazing. you can see just like that. And Cameron, I'm yep. going to show you just how quickly you can make the tapered ones okay, as well. Okay, very good. So uh, I feel like a lot of people have the apple cores at their house. It's yeah. take your apple core. A lot of people. I mean, not me included. Um, but they're really inexpensive. So when you get okay. your melon baller, you get the apple core, and then you do that, and you take it out, and wow. you do this. There's something satisfying about that. Isn't it? <gasps> and you're done. That's how easy it is. That's do that. crazy. Yeah, I know. Very exciting. We just did two of these. Two of these. And I am super impressed. Would you use a lemon on this guy too? You could, yeah, you absolutely could. Okay, very um, good. Now this is, feels to me like it's getting a little bit more unstable, you know, because you've got the yes. extra kind of like Absolutely. Height. I'm very excited to teach you about this one because this is called Museum Wax. I don't think I've ever used this with you, Cam. So Museum Wax is awesome because it's good. what it's gonna do is actually hold the apple down. So you can see here, look at this. You For security, I put gotcha. it on this one already. And so this way, look at, you can see, you push it down and look at. Okay, now, so that's for safety purposes. If you didn't have one of these guys right here and you were gonna just kind of maybe just arrange them as a grouping or something, could you still use a little bit of that or is it hard on uh, Absolutely, okay. no, this will come off and so okay, you can see good. this is actually really thick. You can see here. And actually, can you hand me that uh, you right there? You can help and me And so out. you can see, yeah, I'm gonna just pop, actually I'll do this on the tapered one right here. Okay. And so you wanna make sure your apple is not cold because it's wax and then you wanna put that on there and just like that, it'll stick on. And then like you said, Cam, if we put a little bit on here, 
and you can hand me that guy. Yeah. Also, so let's say we put both of these on. I appreciate those. you using my apples too. I figured yes. like you were kind of leaving. See, me out there just a like bit. you said, and you had a great idea, Cameron. You don't act actually have to put them on anything. Beautiful. And you can see when the wax drips down, it's absolutely beautiful. It adds really great effect. You got some nice little details uh, going oh, around yes. there just to kind of help with the whole fall feel. Absolutely. So here's the thing: when you when you're kind of going with your idea of how to dress your sort of decor for this, yep. you the reason why I like using these is because I like adding height to whatever it is that I'm doing. So if you do them this way, that's totally fine as well. But I, I would use something like this if you really want to make a statement. So you can see, I wanted the red of the apples to really, really pop. Everything around it is a little bit more muted. I use the eucalyptus. I use these really great details and then just some sort of like of a burlap feel and the white, the white pumpkins. A great tip, Cameron, especially when you're using something like apples, I feel like nothing goes better with apples than like spices. So in here, a great tip, use the actual real cinnamon sticks. These are star anise. You can see all through it in through there. You can see that's a beautiful shot of the star anise. And when you add those things in there, you're obviously additioning the, uh, adding the addition of food, but also the smell of all of this as well, because we're using unscented candles. And this adds that great value of the scent as well. It's so nice. And I just want to ask, how do you like them apples? Everybody? Whoa, you there you go. I'm going there? Let's go for you. <laughs> I am very proud of myself, and you will be too if you try this. Full instructions, hallmarkchannel.com, everybody. Now, coming up.